Welcome to another math prompt of the week. Root of equation, sum of reciprocal of 1 minus roots. Let's talk about it. So for this question, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta are the roots of this equation x power 4 plus x power 3 plus x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. You are asked to find the value of 1 over 1 minus alpha plus 1 over 1 minus beta plus 1 over 1 minus gamma plus 1 over 1 minus delta. And the options are A2, B3, C4, and D5. Later on, I will give at least 3 different ways to get the answer. And for now, please have a try before you look at the answer. the video now if you wish to solve it. Keep watching the video once ready. Method number one is a usual method that I receive from most of the responses. So we let y to be 1 over 1 minus x and therefore 1 minus x equals to 1 over y and x equals to 1 minus 1 over y. So we have plug in x as 1 minus 1 over y inside the equation here. We will produce a polynomial in y of degree 4 with the root of 1 over 1 minus alpha, 1 over 1 minus beta, 1 over 1 minus gamma, and 1 over 1 minus delta. So let's do it now. 1 minus 1 over y to the power of 4. For this question itself, we are interested to know what is a constant and what is the coefficient of 1 over y. The rest are not so important. So we will just look at 1 minus 4, 1 over y, and plus the rest. And for this one, it is 1 minus 3, 1 over y, plus the rest. And this is 1 minus 2, 1 over y, plus the rest. And 1 minus 1 over y, and plus 1 equals to 0. So we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 minus 10, 1 over y. And the rest say as a, 1 over y squared, b, 1 over y power 3 and c 1 over y power 4 equals to 0. So from here, from here we can multiply everything by y to the power 4. So this will be 5y to the power 4 minus 10y3 plus ay square plus by plus c equals to 0. I'll call this expression as j j actually is a sum of the root of this equation and therefore it is equal to negative negative of 10 over 5 and therefore the answer is 2 so 2 is the answer for this question and we end the method 1 for method 2 we will let fx to be x power 4 plus x3 plus x2 plus x plus 1. Since alpha, beta, gamma, and delta are the roots of the equation, then we can write as x minus alpha, x minus beta, x minus gamma, and x minus delta. And also, we can have f prime x equals to 4x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. When we differentiate this expression, we have the following, that is x minus alpha, x minus beta, x minus gamma, and differentiate this, which is a 1, plus x minus alpha, x minus beta, x minus delta, and differentiate this, that is 1 again, plus x minus alpha, x minus gamma and x minus delta and times 1 because of the differentiation here 
and finally is x minus beta x minus gamma and x minus delta and differentiate the first uh, expression x minus alpha you get one again so this is what we have so if we look at this carefully j is actually equals to 1 minus alpha 1 minus beta 1 minus gamma and 1 minus delta and the denominator will be equal to 1 minus alpha 1 minus beta 1 minus gamma 1 alpha 1 minus beta and 1 minus delta plus plus 1 minus alpha 1 minus delta 1 minus, one minus alpha, gamma 1 minus delta and finally 1 minus beta 1 minus gamma and 1 minus delta okay it looks complicated but this is actually equal to f prime 1 over f1 note that when sub in x as 1 we will get the expression that we want for the j f prime 1 is 4 3 2 1 and f1 is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, plus 1. that's 10 over 5 and the answer is 2 um, I also received this method from a few of responses this is end of method 2 if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe next is method 3 which I like the most because it is by simple observation there's a theory about that if alpha 1 alpha 2 all the way to alpha n are the roots of the equation a n x n a n minus 1 x n minus 1 all the way to a1 x1 plus a0 equals to 0 where a n a0 not equals 0 in this case then we will say that 1 over alpha 1 1 over alpha 2 all the way to 1 over alpha n are the roots of a0 x n plus a1 x n minus 1 all the way to a n minus 1 x 1 and a n equals to 0 okay what we can see here is that the order of the coefficient of x power k change from this way to the other way instead of the original roots we have the root as the reciprocals so now you observe that alpha beta gamma delta are the roots of this then you will say that 1 over alpha, 1 over beta, 1 over gamma, and 1 over delta are roots of. So we are going to write in the other way. But when you're writing the other way, we get exactly the same. So this is an interesting part for discussion. And also note that 1 or negative 1 are not part of the roots. We can't say that alpha equals to 1 over alpha then what we can say is alpha can be maybe 1 over gamma and beta is equal to 1 over delta right so with this alpha equals to 1 over gamma and beta equals to 1 over delta so j is the sum of this four term we look at uh, this two term 1 over 1 minus alpha and 1 over 1 minus gamma then this will be 1 over 1 minus 1 over alpha and this will turn out 1 minus alpha plus alpha alpha minus 1 so this is 1 minus alpha and 1 minus alpha that is equal to 1 what we have is the sum of these two will be equal to 1 and likewise the sum for the other two also equals to 1 and therefore j is equal to 1 plus 1 and j is equal to 2 and the interesting part for this uh, method is that it is also work that j equals to 2 as long as 1 negative 1 are not the roots of this degree 4 equation and the order coefficient will be exactly the same from these two direction then this j always equals to 2 these are some examples to illustrate what I just said. 
and this end of method 3. And for now, let's look at other people's solution. That's all for today's lesson. I'll see you again next Tuesday. Bye-bye.